Good morning out there. How are you guys today? Uh, this week I gave you an assignment on Seesaw. It was optional about counting coins. But the thing was is I haven't really taught how to count coins. So today I'm going to teach you a couple little tricks um, because you know Miss Cannon's full of tricks um, that will help you when you're thinking about money and learning about money. The first thing we're going to think about is the penny. The penny, you see Abraham Lincoln on there? And it says, penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. So that's the penny. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Now, I always get tricked between the difference of a nickel and a dime. The nickel is bigger in size, but it's worth less money than the dime. So this is my trick for nickel. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Again, nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Then the next page is the dime, the one that I told you I always get tricked with the nickel on. The dime is smaller, right? But it's worth more money. And it says, dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Again, dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Now, the quarters are all different these days because they have different um, things on the front for the different states of the United States. You know, we have 50 United States so that each quarter has its, or uh, each state has its own quarter. But the olden days quarter, well not olden days, you'll still see these, had George Washington on it. And it said this, quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I am told. Again, there's George Washington. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I am told. Now, there is another one for a half a dollar, and there's even one for dollar. I'm gonna skip the half a dollar, uh, but I'll come back to it another day. This one says, dollar, dollar, big and green. Lots of ways you can be seen. Four quarters, 10 dimes, and there's more. 20 nickels from the store, 100 pennies, two half dollars too. I'd name them all, now can you. Um, so that's the dollar one. So we have penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and then dollar. The dollar wasn't on your counting coins activity, but you do need to know what a dollar is. Uh, but I wanted to show you one last thing before we go. Notice the penny, Abraham Lincoln's looking at me. Look at the nickel, he's looking over there at Gigi and Lulu. Look at the dime, he's looking over there at Gigi and Lulu. Look at the quarter, he's looking over there at Gigi and Lulu. I challenge you, get yourself a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter, and go look at where the profiles are all looking. Abraham Lincoln looks this way, and all the rest of them look that way. Interesting fun fact. Uh, that's it for counting coins. Our learning coins, I'll teach you some more later. Bye.